Lights come on and stay on in your home and the places you travel, helping you sleep better at night, knowing from plant to plug the companies you depend on have the services and materials they need to get the job done. We are on the forefront of the lighting revolution with a team of dedicated lighting specialists changing the way you see the world. We are there when storms occur, working with power companies to fix damaged equipment so the lights come back on quickly. Beyond distribution, using technology and industry experience in new ways, solving new challenges, products and services working together. More than just a distributor. HD Supply. Power Solutions. Cribmaster Web. No, not this. This. Not this. This. Cribmaster. Cribmaster Web. CM Web knows how many machines you need, where you need them, and helps you manage your inventory on the go. What's still checked out? Almost out of masks? CM Web lets you know. You're welcome. Safety glasses replace gloves in use this month. Not on the Paris branch, though. What's happening there? Let's make sure to calibrate that torque wrench on time. And let's not spend half the afternoon looking for the only radius gauge in the plan. Who didn't turn in that grinder? Clark. Ratcheting wrench? Clark. It's always Clark. Tired of software installations and upgrade schedules and large IT expenses and just want to manage your core business? CM Web is for you. Cribmaster, you got this.
And speak the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, we, our company, I think, uh, for, for several years, really kind of hid from the truth. Mm. We didn't face up to the fact mm. to our employees, yeah, we've had tough times, but here's our path to success. And uh, with the help of our communications team and our leadership team, we were able to jump in there and as a leadership team, talk about where we've been, where we're going and how we're gonna get there, kind of paint a picture of what success looks like. Right, yeah. And then put the, put the cornerstones in place to get there. So that's been the path we've been on now for almost a year and a half. And uh, we've, we've had some really good successes and I think our now our employees around the globe can see where we're going and they can see we're making progress and getting there. And our customers have been very welcoming and very supportive. So that's, that's awesome. helpful too, very loyal customer base. White with Industrial Sage News. I'm here with Marvin Minton and checking out his booth. So tell us what your company is all about. Juliana, I work for Volley Incorporated. We're based uh, just outside of Houston, Texas. And our company is a global supplier for electrification solutions, communication solutions, and anything that can impact the uh, material handling industry. Cool. So what are you showcasing today? What can people see when they stop by your booth? Okay. Well, if anyone stops by our booth today, they can see our uh, electrification products, uh, conductor bar based with uh, uh, brushes. We have uh, examples of our inductive uh, power solutions, also uh, communications and positioning. Being inside that Oculus and being inside that VR system is really like as real as you can get. When you're on the simulator, the controls, the environment, everything comes together. It's very accurate and it makes you feel like you're operating a forklift. The logistics industry is growing so fast. Customers are demanding faster and faster response times. And that means that we as service providers have to also increase those times, and this technology is a great way to do that. In the logistics industry, one of the biggest challenges that we have is that it is really costly and it requires a lot of resources to train a forklift operator. It could take 45 hours with one trainer to train somebody, and even at the end, you might not net. With the VR, we feel that we can reduce that down to 12 hours. That is a huge reduction in time and resources. Anything you can do to facilitate training of any fashion is great. Like I always tell people, fail is the first attempt in learning. This is a good way to have that first attempt in fail. Forklift operators are considered a skilled employee. They have to go through training, you have to go through validations, you have to go through licensing to operate these machines because there's a lot of trust that uh, goes into these operators to be able to handle this equipment safely. So to have 14 simulators at one time when you can't have 14 forklifts, it just makes a lot of sense. When ProLogistics uses this virtual reality training system, we know that the people we're getting have been thoroughly trained, they've been vetted, they know what they're doing, and they can come in and step right into the job. Welcome to Industrial Sage News. I'm Juliana White. 
MHS is going above and beyond with their latest news. The company is expanding their portfolio of autonomous mobile robot capabilities. MHS is known throughout the industry as a preferred integrator of intelligent material handling systems. And with this announcement, they're continuing their work to solve the challenges of distribution and fulfillment operations by properly integrating mobile robots. The company handles control of AMR solutions through facility software applications, making sure they work with other automated systems. MHS provides access to a complete lineup of automated mobile transportation systems, including modifications for target applications like detachable carts, robotic arms, forklifts, and conveyor supplements. The industrial and manufacturing industry is continuously evolving in a digital landscape, and Industrial Sage is here to help you keep up. We're an industry-leading media platform for professionals who want to reach their ideal prospects and buyers. So we've created an open platform for companies to showcase their expertise and solutions to an audience of industrial buyers seeking solutions. Those buyers are able to discover, engage, and validate brands, products, and services. With partner campaigns, Industrial Sage can help companies measure overall performance, brand awareness, and conversions to continue attracting the next generation of talented individuals to join the industrial and manufacturing workforce. We bring together a community of people who love the industry and want to see it continue to grow and flourish.
All right, everybody, how are you guys doing today? Wanted to uh, welcome you all here to our webinar. Um, so we're going to wait uh, just a little bit longer for uh, some more of you guys to join, and then we'll get started. So lots and lots uh, of great information uh, to be able to go through today. So very excited. And uh, we're also live streaming this. So on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, where else? Anywhere you can live stream it, we are trying to live stream it right now. So very excited uh, to be able to get all of this out. Uh, this is great information, so very excited. So sit tight just a minute longer and uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, go ahead and get started. So I'm not sure if you guys were able to uh, watch the pre-roll at the beginning, but we played a, a variety of different videos that we've produced uh, over the years, um, some of our news segments. So a lot of a lot of different things uh, going on at Industrial Sage. Um, very excited to be able to share a handful of those uh, towards the end of this. So. All right, well, it looks like we got quite a few of you joined in. I'm looking down at uh, my monitor here. I can see everyone joining. Um, we'll be able to, uh, there'll be time for questions at the end. Uh, so if something comes up uh, as I'm going through, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'm going through. Um, so uh, just want to make sure you write those questions down. Uh, that way you can an ask them at the end. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, how are we gonna use video content, especially that Modex video content that you guys have, uh, to generate leads and help with your sales process? So uh, here's our agenda. A um, lot of great information we're gonna go through. Um, we have our, our state of the industry. So just some, some data points that I want to share with you at the beginning to really set the tone of why this is uh, such important uh, information uh, for you to be able to leverage uh, within your sales and marketing. So a uh, little bit about Industrial Sage. So we're an open platform um, and we're making our platform available for people like yourselves, organizations like yourselves to be able to get in front of your ideal buyer. So um, I won't bore you with all the details right now, uh, but there's a lot of very innovative ways, uh, things that you have never seen before uh, within the industrial industry uh, that we are leveraging and things that we're doing. Um, we are not your typical uh, trade publication, okay? Uh, valuable resource, but we are creating content, uh, publishing content uh, that really enable people to take action. Uh, do things. So go, go into some more detail later on. Obviously, I'm available anytime to discuss that in, in more particular terms uh, uh, for your company. So we interviewed 150 organizations at Modex. Super excited. I mean, this is just a massive list. Uh, I'm so excited to have uh, a lot of you on this list here on, on the webinar right now. Uh, so this is great. Um, very excited. Uh, we've seen uh, thousands of views on these videos. Uh, so very, very happy with the results. Um, and there's still more being published. We haven't even finished uh, editing all 150 of them. So they're coming along. All right. Without further ado, let's dive into some data points. So uh, the average user is spending 88% more time on a website when it has video on it. So this is why your video is very important. You're spending more time on your website. Uh, when you include that video within your email campaigns, you're seeing a 200%, 300% increase in the click-through rate. And this is fascinating. So then uh, it's not just um, the how-to videos and maybe you know, lower level uh, people within an organization watching this video content. We're seeing a massive number of executives that are watching video content. And look at this, at least once a week. So it's not like they're, they're watching it once a month, it's at least once a week. So this is very good. Uh, the B2B buyer, they're watching 30 minutes of video content. So I understand that the, the free video that was uh, filmed uh, and published and edited uh, from Modex is about 60 seconds. Some of them are a little bit longer, some of them are a little bit shorter. Um, that's just one piece of the pie, of that 30 minutes of video that you really 
need to have available uh, within your organization. So whether that's on your YouTube channel, your homepage, or any uh, blog articles on your website, um, all of that, it all is totaling up to that number of 30 minutes that people are spending watching that video content. And it's influencing their purchase decision. So that's what I want to be able to do. We're going to, we're going to show you how you can help influence people's purchase decision with these videos. So, and then this one's very interesting. I'm right there on the edge of not being a millennial, you know, kind of, thank goodness uh, to a degree. But 50% B2B buyers now are millennial. And so they are consuming video at an insane rate. It's how they buy. It's how they're uh, consuming content and being informed and educated. So this is, this is where this, this video is very, very important. All right. Let's get into some more practical, uh, tactical uh, content here. So um, how are we going to share uh, this video content? Because we all have a variety of follower counts on our business pages, um, but you know, maybe you're not able to reach all of them, uh, or you want to be able to get in front of even more people than that. So, we see, maybe some of you guys have seen some of these slides before uh, from a couple other webinars we've done, but they're very important to set the tone. So social media is that new water cooler, okay? Uh, before you would have that interaction in the office and engagement, uh, some ideation happening, now that is happening on social. A lot of us aren't in the offices right now. So that's, that's where this whole ecosystem is, people are spending more time there. So. Uh, you then, with this video, you want to share it with everyone, everyone as possible. So the, uh, you look at this you know, graphic where this person's connected to that person and that person and that person, you hear you know, the philosophy, six degrees of separation. Well, you're connected to somebody else, that, to somebody else and so forth um, that you're really trying to reach. So that's why that social element is so powerful. So let's look at some numbers, all right? The average LinkedIn user has 400 uh, connections, okay? So if you think about it, when you share a video or share a piece of content, not all 400 connections are going to see that content. Um, it's gonna depend on, obviously, the total number of connections you have, how engaged they are, how many connections they have, and so forth that goes into this wonderful algorithm of LinkedIn. So the next piece is, well, if I share that video, I'm getting in front of most likely 10% of my total connections, um, maybe higher, maybe lower. Well, this is where if you have your team share the video, then you're further amplifying your total company reach. So you might have a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand or tens of thousands of followers on LinkedIn for your company page, but think of how many employees you have. So when you're able to amplify it, so looking at five team members, just getting in front of 10% of their connections is 200 impressions and so forth. You know, the numbers, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So these are, these are just some examples, um, but this is essentially free reach. So you're able to get in front of more people simply by sharing it. And now I'm gonna show you uh, how simple it is to share. So given you are the marketer, the savvy salesperson uh, with all of this on this webinar, um, these things are gonna most likely come a little bit more intuitive to you. Um, but I wanna add another element. So you're gonna share it, um, but a lot of times people uh, maybe aren't as uh, uh, what do you say, talented, so to speak, or really use social media that much, okay, especially on LinkedIn. So what we recommend is getting that post, uh, the shared post link, okay, and emailing it to your team with just a simple, please share this video with your LinkedIn connections. So when they click that link, it is going to bring up the video that you just shared with them and then they can hit share. So it's very, very simple. They make it as easy as possible. Uh, now I want it to be even easier uh, on how to uh, 
share and amplify this message. So you're taking this video, you're sharing it, they're sharing it, and so forth. Maybe their connections share it also. You know, it could be great value. So next is an example of the type of engagement that you can see when you share your video. So this is a, an interview um, that we did with uh, Tim uh, Vargo from Exide. And he came into the studio. He was on our uh, executive series where we interview executives. And um, the feedback that he received, uh, and I can share this out because I know it's scrolling pretty quickly. You can't see it, uh, maybe read all the comments very well. But it not only helped um, him uh, reach uh, his you know, customer base, but th this, this particular example is showing how much uh, his employees respect him and um, you know, appreciate uh, what he's doing for their organization. So there's, there's a lot of different ways that this piece of content uh, can help influence things uh, and influence people. So there we go. You know, share that out there. Leverage this engagement. Uh, when you see these, uh, these being shared, go through each of the comments. Make a comment uh, that further helps amplify it. When LinkedIn sees that engagement happening on a video, it's more likely to be um, uh, displayed and incorporated into someone else's organic, um, organic feed uh, on their news feed. So like the other comments, make a comment, engage, uh, tag other people. Um, so maybe someone that you're trying to get in front of, tag them. Hey, uh, you got to watch this video that we, we filmed at Modex. It talks about uh, what we were, we were talking about the other day and, and, and whatnot. And you can do this uh, not only with uh, your branded content, okay, but also any uh, valuable video resource uh, that you find out there. So something that's maybe from a, um, a third-party resource, uh, a news article, a news video that has to, that's incorporating you know, some element uh, within the industry that's going to bring value to them, do that and share that content. Uh, so next, creating a page um, on your website with the video. So uh, I realize that uh, there's a lot of different uh, platforms, uh, content management systems uh, that organizations are using. And so I don't want to uh, really deep dive into the nitty gritty of um, this is how to take it and put it onto WordPress or Drupal or HubSpot CMS or, or whatever, you know, Squarespace or whatever those platforms are. Um, additionally, your IT team uh, probably handles a lot of those things. Maybe you don't touch those different elements. So I don't go into that. Um, but what you need to do is, if you haven't already received your video uh, via email announcing when it's going to be uh, published on social, you can also go to industrialsage.com forward slash modex, um, and you can see all the videos that have been published. Uh, so not all of them are done. Uh, so we're we're working overtime trying to get all of these videos edited. There's a lot of videos, over 150, um, and we want them to all to be spectacular. So uh, we're not rushing anything out. Uh, so go to the site, um, watch the other videos, see what your competitors are doing. That's always nice to do. Um, and then find your video. When you go, when you find your video, uh, you can click through to it. And uh, within the video, here's how to get the video embed code. So uh, you have to click play, and that will bring up the controls there at the bottom uh, of, the, of the player. And in the bottom right corner, there is a little button that looks like a little share arrow. And you click that, and it brings up another little dialog that says embed. When you click that button, it's going to automatically uh, copy and paste, you know, copy that code um, onto your clipboard. And uh, then you can paste it into uh, your web page. So the code will look like that in the bottom right corner, that little black box uh, that's there. So very simple process. It then pulls in all the video stuff. It works on mobile. It resizes automatically. Um, it, 
if you're uh, at high bandwidth, you know, HD will play. If it's low bandwidth, then it'll automatically uh, go to a lower resolution uh, to be able to play uh, in the best format possible. So get that embed code and then go over and embed it onto your site. So here's an example that uh, Waypoint Robotics did with their video from 2018. So uh, we didn't interview 150 organizations, but we interviewed quite a few in 2018 at Modex. And they took their video, embedded it onto a page. Uh, I kind of uh, cut out a lot of the content so I could highlight some of the different pieces on there that I want to talk about. But they put that video embed uh, on there. And then uh, they included uh, additional content around the Modex experience that they had, uh, a lot of the different products that they were showcasing. Uh, so it's a valuable article. Um, and then they include a wonderful call to action at the bottom. And this is where you're saying, OK, well, uh, how does this all help me generate leads? Well, you've done your organic uh, sharing of the video on social. You share this page on social, um, so you're doing that. And then you have that call to action there towards the bottom. And OK, so Waypoint is using uh, what I would consider a very bottom of the funnel um, call to action, where it's really asking, do you have a project? We're here to help you. So not a lot of uh, room for someone that's still in that consideration phase, so very bottom of the funnel. Um, I would recommend on an article like this uh, seeing uh, some type of downloadable offer, so maybe a free resource or brochure of some, some type um, with only maybe a couple fields uh, that they need to enter. So, you know, first name and email address, something very low calorie, so to speak, um, to get that initial lead generation started. Uh, or maybe a webinar or another you know, video resource of some sort. Um, that way, you're reaching a much broader audience than just those that um, are much more further down that sales process. So this is a great example of a blog article, recap article that they did for Modex. Um, this is something that Pack Machinery did. And I'm, I love that they did this, because here you have a video. They uh, spent all that time and energy invested at Modex um, of having all their equipment there and being able to showcase it. Well, this video highlights that. And they took the video, embedded it on one of their product pages, and now they're actually running pay-per-click campaigns. So whether it's Google, PPC, or display, but they're now driving traffic to that page, and people are watching the videos. So by no means is one video going to um, seal the deal and you know make them buy right away uh, but it's definitely a way to engage with that audience that's coming there on that page and really you know when you think of the stats that i mentioned at the very beginning you know that's the data that supports it so they're spending a lot more time on this page because they have that video to be able to watch so great way to help increase that conversion rate and overall experience uh, with a pay-per-click campaign so love what they're doing with that. So here we go. Video in the sales process, you know, how do we incorporate that into a follow-up campaign? Um, realizing that uh, there's so, you know, everyone's sales process is different, OK? Um, some of them are you know, two-year processes. Others are single year, maybe six months. Everything's different. Um, we really look at. Uh, 8 to 12 touches uh, before a lead or prospect is really engaged with uh, wanting to, to purchase your product. So uh, we think through, um, here's some different steps. OK, uh, obviously, you have your email follow-ups from your phone calls, things like that. Uh, what is a valuable resource that you can share with them? You know, jot down three different resources that are applicable to the vast majority of your prospects. So have that content ready to go. Um, you know, this is mapped out with a little bit of if and statements. You know, if they do this, then do that. Um, but incorporate that video. Uh, get that video into an email um, as another touch point to bring value. So um, 
when we look at that data point where it says that uh, the buyers are watching 30 minutes of video uh, influencing their purchase decisions, um, this is another asset. And you're thinking, okay, great. I have this one video here uh, that I'm able to leverage. Uh, it's definitely better than nothing. I think it's way better than nothing. Um, and so you have that. Well, now we got a lot of sales teams that are typically traveling. Uh, they're on the road, they're going to different shows. Well, now they're not. A lot of people are grounded, uh, so to speak. So sit them down, have them use the webcam on their computer. Uh, it doesn't need to be super fancy. Um, and have them record those frequently asked question videos. Um, just, they don't have to have it be perfect on the first take, uh, but they need to do that. They need to have that content uh, memorialized into a video. Um, and this is where uh, we had mentioned in another uh, webinar um, a couple weeks ago about this concept. And ABB, uh, when they were a guest on uh, Industrial Sage um, last year, okay, was talking about these digital cul-de-sacs. So this digital cul-de-sac is where you have essentially a hub video so it could be this, you know, the short about us video, and then below it, you're able to list off all the different video topics uh, and additional video assets uh, that they're able to uh, to view. And this is where it's powerful when you have um, videos in a variety of topics, and you're leveraging, um, you know, different CRM systems. I know Salesforce can do this, Paradot, HubSpot. Uh, they are tracking uh, what your prospects are doing on your website. So if you're able to see that they're clicking on a particular video topic, that is giving you valuable insights on what you need to address. What is that problem they're trying to solve? And then when you're able to go through and see how much of that video content they watched, it lets you know, are they uh, just browsing, uh, you know, kind of just uh, window shopping, so to speak? Um, or are they really in that consideration mode? Are they reviewing this video content in detail? Are they sharing it uh, with other pe people within their organization? You know, when you're able to capture that data, it makes the information, or it makes that process for your sales team um, much more efficient. They're able to bring that much more value and insights uh, to the table at each one of those conversations that they're having with their prospects. So it's not just the, the subject matter expertise that your sales team has in being able to kind of dig through and find those challenges that your prospects are facing, but being able to memorialize it and have it work for you 24-7, 365. So, and why, why is this important, okay? Uh, all this, you know, COVID-19, you know, coronavirus, all this stuff's happening. Uh, it's really throwing a lot of organizations for a loop. You know, what are we going to do um, with, with this sales process? We don't, we don't have trade shows. You know, what are we going to do? Um, for those that were leveraging digital before, all right, wonderful. Um, you're somewhat a step ahead of, of everybody else. Um, but given that people are working from home, um, real world example, okay? Uh, talking with a variety of industrial organizations and uh, both the, the husband and wife work and they have kids and what are they doing? Well, um, their you know, daycare is closed uh, for a lot of them so one of the parents needs to watch the kids. So mom is getting up at 4 a.m. and working till uh, 8 a.m. Uh, so that she can get her hours in, and then husband is working from eight to five, and then mom is taking over, you know, working from five to whenever she's able to finish her day. So wh what does that mean? Well, what it means is that typically uh, your sales team is uh, available nine to five, eight to six, or maybe 24 seven, you know, depending on how dedicated they are. But they're available, okay? I don't know how many of you are answering uh, your prospect's phone calls at 9 o'clock, let alone uh, a prospect actually calling you at 9 o'clock at night when they're finally able to uh, do that research. You know, the fires from the day are, are 
are done and settled, they're able to do that research. If you don't have the content available on your website that is able to answer and address their challenges and explain in a non over the top salesy, this is why we're so wonderful way, uh, you're missing out. They're gonna be going to someone else's website. They're not gonna be on your website. So you need this data, you need this, this video content to be able to, uh, whether it's video or it's blogs or product pages, obviously video is extremely uh, engaging and powerful. You can see how much they're watching. So you know, I really encourage you to um, create this content right now. Think strategic during this time period. That way when the you know, dust settles, um, you're hitting the ground running and you're building your pipeline right now instead of trying, you know, fumbling and trying to figure things out. Here we go. I love this. I always love looking at these different documents and seeing this written down on the screen. It's like, this is the goofiest thing, but I don't know, I wanted to include it. Bonus resources, okay. I feel like I've been talking for forever. It's only been 30 minutes. Wow, a lot of great stuff here. So this is where, um, and I'm, I'm gonna explain a couple things about Industrial Sage, um, and then we'll go into some questions, if you guys, if you guys have any questions. So um, we've made Industrial Sage an open platform. It seems kind of crazy um, that we allow other people, other organizations, other companies to publish on our website. Well, this is how we're doing it. So we have Industrial Sage News, okay? Juliana, she's fantastic. Um, we need you to submit your press releases. You have some uh, valuable uh, program coming out, new product, uh, new announcement. We want to hear about it and we want to incorporate it into our news. There is no cost right now to submit a press release and essentially pitch uh, Juliana on incorporating it into a video segment or a uh, news article on our website. And each one of these news articles we publish uh, to our audience, our social audience, uh, and our email audience. And um, within a given week, we're reaching 20,000 plus uh, industrial professionals. Wide variety, um, but we're reaching them. So great way to get uh, your information out there in front of your peers and your prospects. Next is become a contributor on Industrial Sage. So we've talked about creating content, having it live on your website. Well, now we're talking about leveraging content and incorporating it onto a third party website where you're able to uh, position yourself again as a thought leader. So uh, you fill out a form, uh, we approve you to be a contributor on the site, and then you're able to publish. Uh, yes, there's some editorial rules. We don't want it to be um, you know, an infomercial, uh, so to speak, because who wants to sit through that? But if you're able to provide valuable content um, within your industry, okay, uh, within that category, so if you're uh, conveyor belts, we want, we want to know why, what information and value um, those that are, uh, you know, purchasing conveyor belts, they need to have. You know, think through that, you know, educate, uh, somewhat entertain, but it's a great way to uh, increase your reach, increase that distribution of your thought leadership and your brand. Totally free. So uh, obviously uh, Industrial Sage needs to make money some way, so there are some paid opportunities. You just have to raise your hand and I can share with you uh, those one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Next, we've seen a massive number of valuable webinars uh, all over LinkedIn. People are sharing them left and right. Uh, and once they're um, published, once they happen, you know, they disappear. And we're thinking, this is crazy. This is amazing content that you guys are producing um, a lot of time and energy to uh, build this um, and uh, the time to, to record it. Um, so I sure hope you're recording them, uh, but we're creating a webinar directory. There is no cost to have your webinar uh, published and hosted on the Industrial Sage platform. Um, as we get more and more topics, we'll segment it better and, and all of that. But there's no cost um, to have that, uh, to 
submit it and get it on there. And also, if you have an upcoming webinar, uh, we want to know about that too. Uh, that way we can help distribute it and get in front of more of your peers and more of your prospects. Um, so those are uh, three of those bonus resources that are available to any and all organization that wants to participate on the Industrial Sage platform. So um, let's see, um, you know, obviously there's uh, a lot of content that we're creating on Industrial Sage. And our goal is really to help create uh, this ecosystem where industrial professionals uh, are able to uh, share information, engage, uh, be informed, educated, um, and uh, you know, get with the times. You know, if we, we want to say that, um, the you know, we're we're seeing you know, who was it that made an announcement that they're no longer uh, printing their uh, their print version of their directory or or, or magazine. Okay, this is, this is throwing a lot of people for a loop. They don't know what to do. They like to see their print ad. Well, here's the thing. If, a, uh, if organizations were truly seeing the value out of it, do you think that that trade magazine would stop selling it? Do you think they would stop? So it makes you really wonder. It makes you question, well, what are they doing? They're trying to do digital. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, we obviously want everyone to, to grow and benefit. You know, rising tide lifts all boats. And that's really a, a mantra that we have uh, here uh, that we want to support and be beneficial. We think we're, gonna, we're doing something very different. We're doing things different. And uh, that gets us very excited. So uh, without further ado, um, Let's see, I'm going to try and uh, answer uh, some of your questions. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and send them in. Um, let's see, I think we can have them all come in here. Give it a moment. I'm going to drink some water. I've been talking nonstop. I love it. So I'm sure you can see. We kind of uh, have some alter egos, so we have our, uh, our traditional uh, Industrial Sage logo from uh, the beginning. Um, now we have, you, know, you can see there, you know, bottom of the screen, the new Industrial Sage logo, and uh, really wanting to you know, bring everyone together um, as a great community and resource. Let's see, come on, anybody have any questions? Uh, you know, Andrew, um, let's see. Mark, do you have anything? Um, let's see. Cindy, I'm just, I'm just going to call everybody out uh, on it. Let's see. All right. All right, well, we'll give it another minute. I don't know if, um, let's see, maybe there's some questions on the live stream. Let me pull that up real quick. I just don't want to cut things off um, while we have while I have y'all um, to do this. So let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Got that? All right, cool. Don't see anything on there. All right, well, hey guys, I really appreciate you coming on today. I hope it was valuable, a valuable resource. Um, I'm going to send out uh, a follow-up with uh, some different links um, to a variety of things that I've talked about, um, some additional resources. Okay, Mark, all right, I will, I'll connect with you afterwards. And then, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll stay in touch. So, listen, Industrial Sage, we're here for you. We want to help you. Uh, there's a lot of new and unknowns uh, out here in the industry right now, and um, we want to we want to be a valuable resource. So we've been speaking with uh, over 150 organizations, and each time we are asking them, you know, what are you seeing? What is going on? What is uh, what are these challenges you guys are facing? And Really, a big question that we get is, um, 
you know, trade shows. Are, are, are we going to do them? Should we do them? If it happens, I think uh, there's still a variety of trade shows that are on the schedule. And, you know, I hate to say it, but the feedback we're getting is a big question mark. Some of them have decided, no, we are, we're done. We're going to take the next 365 days and not do a single trade show. Um, so they're reallocating budget, reallocating resources, and doing that. And the reason that they're giving is that even if the event is happening, they don't think the attendance will be there. So they would rather not invest it into that point. So I know it's, it's uh, in a lot of ways, it's throwing people you know, for that loop. Uh, a lot of traditional sales teams um, that are ingrained in their ways are doing that. Um, but I think that, that's, the, that's the nature of the beast. That's where we're at right now. Okay. So can you send out the links to upload press releases? Yes, absolutely. So what I will do is a little bit after uh, the webinar today, um, I will get you a link to everything that I've talked about. Um, so where to submit for the press releases, uh, where to request to be a contributor, um, and even where to submit your webinar. Uh, whether it's happened already, you can uh, give us a Dropbox link to the video file uh, or you know, wherever it's located or future webinars. So definitely we'll get that out to you. So uh, wonderful. I love seeing uh, this feedback. Uh, really appreciate that, Lily. That means a lot. A um, lot of great stuff. As always, super available. Um, it's been my objective to just add value, add value, add value. Uh, I mean, for Pete's sakes, we gave uh, 150 videos away uh, to the industry. Um, so we're, we're, we're not we're not messing around. We really want to help the industry uh, live digital, thrive in this digital environment. And um, yeah, that's super excited. So um, I will let you know if we have any other webinars, uh, any questions you think of later on, send me an email, you got it. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, we're getting some beautiful weather down here in Atlanta finally. So this is, this is great. So all right, wonderful. Thank you so much. as well as uh, people that are in the sales. I, I think that the information that you share is great. I like the format. It's informative, uh, direct, and you've got some nice input from people in the industry. When I find myself on my uh, digital journey, I, I sometimes realize other people have been in a similar position, maybe know a little more than me. And Danny's found a great way to bring those people's experience to me in a rather energetic and entertaining way process. First and foremost, the valuable insights and information they provide. Secondly, the fact that they are very professional and Danny is fantastic. But more importantly, I think they truly enjoy what they do and it really comes across in all of their episodes. When you're on your digital journey, I certainly recommend you make a few stops at Industrial City to keep you headed in the right direction. Your videos have been so impactful for us to be able to clearly communicate our vision of building robots that are built for the workforce and empower them to have better tools and get more done and have more energy at the end of the day. And you really set the gold standard for how to do digital marketing right. And for that, you will always be close to our hearts. In industries where you, you sell through a channel, mm -hmm. the biggest challenge is to be able to continue that engagement when you're two degrees away yeah. and you're separated yeah. from that customer experience. And so at the transactional level, the transaction is between your channel partner and right. them and the customer, the end user or the, or the intermediary. And that disconnect is probably the biggest challenge that we have. Absolutely. Traveling vast distances from the power plant through a complex web of power lines, 
to state-of-the-art sub and distribution stations, down your street to your home. Depending on power is a way of life. Keeping homes, businesses, hospitals, and factories running. If the lights didn't come on, if the computer screen was black, a dark street, a dark city. Where do power companies, contractors, electricians, and emergency response teams go to get the materials they need to make things right? HD Supply Power Solutions. Our expansive North American distribution network and customized services ensure the right products make it in the right hands. So the lights come on and stay on in your home and the places you travel, helping you sleep better at night, knowing from plant to plug, the companies you depend on have the services and materials they need to get the job done. We are on the forefront of the lighting revolution with a team of dedicated lighting specialists changing the way you see the world. We are there when storms occur working with power companies to fix damaged equipment so the lights come back on quickly. Beyond distribution, using technology and industry experience in new ways, solving new challenges, products and services working together, more than just a distributor. HD Supply Power Solutions. Gribmaster Web. No, not this. This. Not this. This. Gribmaster. Gribmaster Web. CM Web knows how many machines you need, where you need them, and helps you manage your inventory on the go. What's still checked out? Almost out of masks? CM Web lets you know. You're welcome. Safety glasses replace gloves in use this month. Not on the Paris branch, though. What's happening there? Let's make sure to calibrate that torque wrench on time. And let's not spend half the afternoon looking for the only radius gauge in the plan. Who didn't turn in that grinder? Clark. Ratcheting wrench? Clark. It's always Clark. Tired of software installations and upgrade schedules and large IT expenses and just want to manage your core business? CM Web is for you. Cribmaster, you got this. And speak the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, we, our company, I think uh, for, for several years, really kind of hid from the truth. Mm -hmm. We didn't face up to the fact mm. to our employees, yeah, we've had tough times, but here's our path to success. And uh, with the help of our communications team and our leadership team, we were able to jump in there and as a leadership team, talk about where we've been, where we're going and how we're gonna get there, kind of paint a picture of what success looks like. Right, yeah. And then put the, put the cornerstones in place to get there. So that's been the path we've been on now for almost a year and a half. And uh, we've, we've had some really good successes and I think our now our employees around the globe can see where we're going and they can see we're making progress and getting there. And our customers have been very welcoming and very supportive. So that's, that's awesome. helpful too. Very loyal customer base. Hi, I'm Juliana White with Industrial Sage News. I'm here with Marvin Minton and checking out his booth. So tell us what your company is all about. Juliana, I work for Volley Incorporated. We're based out just outside of Houston, Texas, and our company is a global supplier for electrification solutions, communication solutions, and anything that can impact the uh, material handling industry. Cool. So what are you showcasing today? What can people see when they stop by your booth? Okay. Well, if anyone stops by our booth today, they can see our uh, electrification products, uh, conductor bar based with uh, uh, brushes. We have uh, examples of our inductive uh, power solutions, also uh, communications and positioning.